Well, it's that time of year. The students are back, and that means the basketball players are getting in condition. Here we are in the wonderful weight room at Cook Hall. Let's talk to basketball strength and conditioning coordinator Janae Jackson. Janae, much has been made of Cook Hall and what it does in a basketball sense, but this is really perfect for a strength and conditioning coordinator for the team as well. What a great facility. We, we're very fortunate, very blessed to, to be able to have a facility like this to train in every day. Really got about everything I need at my disposal, especially to train guys in the way that I train them. And, it, and it's different from weight room to weight room, strength coach to strength coach. You, you've got to get your equipment to match up your training style and training philosophy. Fortunately, they, let, they allow me to order different things that really help us perform better, get each individual guy a little bit better. Let's say there's a student athlete who arrives on campus that needs to bulk up. What would be some of the things that you would do to put on weight and add strength? Well, a lot of things we're going to do is, one, especially when they get here in the summertime, we cut back their cardiovascular training a bunch. Just because we're so far away from the season, we really don't need to be in tip-top shape all summer. It just leads us to break down later. So what we'll do is we'll cut back on their conditioning a little bit, really, really up their intake of calories, and we'll do some different supplements. But as far as in the weight room, then we'll hit some, some heavier weights, more sets, kind of have them lifting right on the edge of their maximum all the time. Conversely, there's a student athlete who arrives on campus that might need to shed 10 or 20. What do you do to get those pounds off? Again, luckily we have Amy Friel, who's our nutritionist. She can sit with the guys, tell them exactly what they need to do in their diet, analyze what they have been doing. What I can do, like I said, we have this great facility. A lot of extra conditioning will, is what will end up happening with them. But diet is probably the, the absolute biggest thing of changing incoming players. All basketball players need to be faster and more explosive. What are the things that you do there in order to make them faster and more explosive? Fortunately, within our program, we'll go a couple times a week. I've got a really good facility where we'll do a lot of training in the sand. I have access to a track that's very close to us. We'll do a lot of overspeed training, a, a, just a culmination of a lot of different agility training just to help them get a little, a little bit more of a neuromuscular uh, explosion is really what we're shooting for. So when they come in, we'll do form running, really working on their running technique. We'll do a lot of uh, explosive lifting, things like that, and, and that will in turn help them increase their vertical leap, help them get faster, help them change direction a lot quicker. A lot of sports fans watch the NFL Combine and they understand some of the benchmarks for football, the 40-yard dash, how often they can throw up. 185 pounds. What are some of the things that you routinely measure to look at progress for a basketball player? Basketball, football is a little bit different than basketball. At the combines for basketball, the tests are, are very different. Some parallel, some do not. For instance, in football, they'll test 225 pounds as many times as they can. Basketball, they do 185 pounds. We'll do different agility drills than football just because the change of direction aspect in basketball is far different than it is in football. Uh, vertical leap tests, we do two different types where in football they just do one. We'll do one where they have to stand, they can't take any steps. And that's really a, a, a good measure of, of power and explosion. And then we'll do one where they get a 15-foot approach because basketball players are always moving. They're always, when, they, when they're jumping, it's usually off the run. So then we can test that as well. In season, what do you do to maintain strength, explosiveness, quickness? knowing that you don't have a routine schedule because they might play on a Tuesday, might play on a Wednesday, and then again on the weekends. I'm going to tell you what, Coach Crean is unbelievable. He, he is such a believer in the weight room. And uh, I tell you what, our team, they're definitely benefactors of, of that. We've, we lift usually about three times a week in season, and we try to do it no matter what. Um, I have a few different lifts that we do. If, we have a, a, if we've got several days before a game, then we'll have a lift where we can concentrate a little bit more on our legs and keeping, keeping our foundation strong. As we get closer to the game, we'll do more of upper body stuff. Then we always lift the day before the game, which is uh, it's fantastic. And, I, and our guys, they've gotten so used to it, and they really like it. And if we, if we happen to not do it, they're like, Coach, what, you know, what's going on? Why are we not doing this? So uh, Coach Crean has been great in allowing us to, to continue to work hard throughout the season. You've been here for a full year now. How have the kids bought into what you're trying to accomplish and 
How have they shown improvement? Wow, what, what a difference a year makes in this, in this room with me. When I first got here, it was, uh, guys weren't sure. They were like, man, this is, this is tough. We're, we're doing some things that uh, we're not used to doing. Now it's gotten to the, to the point where our guys, they're really pushing each other and trying to pull everything out of each other. Whereas we may not have, have quite had that mindset, uh, that type of intensity, that type of uh, drive maybe in the past. Now they're, they're driving each other in such a way that, that I, I come in here and, and I'm just, every day I'm, I'm just, it's refreshing. It's really refreshing to see.